Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called 2019. After the Fall of New York, 1983. I'm giving it 5 out of 5 stars. This movie blew me away. It's a mixture of Mad Max, Escape from New York, and Gorge. But I don't know if you've ever come across a situation where the ripoff movie was actually better than the original. That's the case of this one. If you want to compare it to Escape to New York, this one's better. It's a Euro trash dystopian flick. Uh, an obvious ripoff on uh, Escape from New York, and it's even got uh, some elements of those other two movies that I mentioned earlier. And um, wow, this movie got an X rating. It's in an Italian French collaboration believe it or not initially it got an X rating but they cut it down to an R rating unfortunately I would love to have seen the uh, the uncut version of this but uh, alas no such thing exists as of now and uh, it's a it's about this um, this Mad Max racer dude who's um, in this uh, apocalyptic uh, post World War Three nuclear holocaust situation. Obviously, it didn't happen in 2019. This just said 2,119 or something. But the uh, same thing with Space 1999, you know. They, they try to make the dates closer, like within our lifetime, so that we'll believe that we'll actually come across this kind of stuff. And, uh, man. This, this movie is just incredible. I loved it all the way around. One of my favorite dystopian movies of all time now that I've actually seen it. And uh, it's about this, uh, like I said, it was it was about this uh, demolition derby, extreme death sport kind of uh, guy. He, uh, he wins a race. gets to um, he gets to uh, make out with uh, with this gorgeous woman whose, whose face is disfigured by the uh, post-apocalyptic nuclear fallout uh, he lets her go free and then uh, the president of the former uh, government that was established uh, he um, he tells him to go to New York City which is heavily fortified by the, the people who uh, did the nuclear bombing they're looking to, uh, to do biological experimentation so that they can uh, continue the human race you see the uh, the nuclear fallout has resulted in no children for a decade or so. And um, that's the problem. Because um, there was no World War Three or uh, nuclear holocaust during the 21st century up, up until now. But um, that's beside the point. This movie just absolutely knock my socks off it's 
It's got the cheesy special effects, the, uh, the incredible action sequences, just nonstop action. That's why I enjoyed it right from the beginning. And, um, and this drag racer dude, he, uh, extreme demolition derby man, he, he gets um, captured and, and taken to the, uh, the president who tells him to go find this uh, fertile woman, the only fertile woman on the planet. And then they can uh, travel in the spaceship they'll let him have a seat or something like that. I couldn't really follow a lot of this because everything just happens so quickly. And, uh, and so he agrees to do it. He gets a side, a couple of sideboards, sidekicks, one guy with, with the hook arm, another guy with a cyborg brain and a cyborg, cyborg eyeball. They go on this mission to... Uh, to rescue the fertile woman to get her on a spaceship so that they can travel to uh, Alpha Centauri far away from the, uh, the nuclear fallout Earth, planet Earth. And um, so they go through the sewers, they, they meet uh, these, these ape man creatures. Absolutely. Costume search is fantastic, and I love the, uh, the cheap sets. Everything about this movie it's just absolutely incredible. It's the kind of movie that I would want to make if if I was uh, an, a Euro trash director in the uh, early '80s. I was trying to rip off Escape from New York. I'd make this film because it's just a uh, perfect, flawless. There wasn't a single single thing I disliked about it. It doesn't ha even have any nudity in it. But I still love this movie. That's how much. Uh, that's how good it was. And uh, they meet this dwarf dude who helps them out. They go to the. Uh, they meet up with this uh, blondie gal in the sewers where the people are eating rats. Hang on, I've got to flip over my pork chop over here. Got... There, that's better. Sorry about that. So they're um, they're eating rats, and then um, then they get shackled, and uh, and the bad guys show up, shoot everybody. They're they're like burning people with flamethrowers and stuff, and. Uh, they get captured, but then the dwarf and the cyborg rescue them. I don't even know where the cyborg disappeared to when they were uh, when the bad guys showed up uh, after they were captured. But he, he he pops up with the dwarf. They get rescued somehow, miraculously. They they escape from uh, New York City with uh, the fertile woman who's who's like. A, cryogenically uh, preserved from before the uh, the first nuclear bomb hit. The ape man wants to um, he wants to um, do the dookie with the, uh, the frozen stiff coma, comatose woman. But um, they leave him there to protect the uh, the cryogenic chamber with her in it, because they know that he'll give up his life for that gal. 
And then they do the uh, Escape from New York thing where they drive through the, the spiked road kind of deal. Um, people shooting their, uh, their high-tech uh, crossbows and this weird sound goes off like something out of a, a noise machine. Uh, it's just like that. It's it's incredible, unbelievable. Uh, I can't even really describe it to you. There's a scene in junkyard with all this uh, dry ice, smoke everywhere. And it's just nonstop action with the uh, synthesizer going off while the action is happening in a super violent movie. Uh, there's de decapitation in it. a lot of uh, deaths and kills in this one. So, uh, yeah, all around, great flick. I'm sure it scores off the, uh, I'm sure it til uh, tilted the uh, Joe Bob Briggs uh, meter that he does when he, uh, when he counts the number of deaths and stuff, it's just incredible. This movie is just completely nuts, and uh, I can't tell you how much I love this movie. I'm going to post the uh, link to the uh, to the actual movie in the description box, so you can watch it on YouTube. That's where I saw it. of the world, uh, Italian style. Highly recommended. Check it out later.